Hmm, this giant milk carton could use a friend to go along with it. What could I do for it though? Hmm, oh, I have an idea! Hold on, let me change my face. Okay. Oh, that ain't it. That ain't it. I have an idea! I'm gonna make a giant cereal box house. <gasps> I still don't have a nose. everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back in Bloxburg with another Strange Builds episode where I build the silliest, maybe the dumbest, the weirdest, the strangest things, and I still somehow manage to make it kind of ugly. I don't know. I feel like some of them actually turn out pretty good. Some of them are questionable and maybe some are just a bit meh. But today we're going to be doing another Strange Builds episode and we're going to be milking. <laughs> we're gonna be milking. <laughs> we're gonna be making a giant cereal box house to go along with our giant milk carton. Now, the last time we did the milk carton house for the episode, there was only two stories, but I figured um, three stories actually looks pretty decent. So I'm gonna show you guys what the third floor looks like. Here's a fast tour of the milk carton, real quick. So this is the kitchen. You know, it's pretty nice and cozy in here. And I changed this. Um, this here used to be a shower, but I just put a bookshelf here instead. The second, nothing really changed up here. It's pretty much the same except I did remove the toilet from here new third floor now this is kind of like the hangout like chill area I guess I always love having a chill area in my house so I put the bathroom up here so we both we have both the toilet and the shower right next to each other so yeah there's the fast tour of my milk carton update so let's go ahead and go into build and we're gonna start off with our walls and I think it is safe for this episode for you guys to build along with me as I do it because I am better prepared this time. I know what I'm doing. So yeah, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by doing three. We're gonna do three squares this way and then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven wide. Then just, you know, just make a simple rectangle. This is, it's basically a rectangle. And we're gonna do the exact same thing for the second floor. We're just going to basically just copy our rectangle that we did for the first floor. And guess what we're gonna do for the third story? Guess what? We're doing the same thing. You should have three stories of rectangles. Yes, three rectangles. So here's that. Nice giant box of cereal. Alrighty. So now we're gonna go into decorate, we're gonna go into decorations, and we're gonna go we're gonna scroll all the way down. I don't know if it's all the way down. It's right next to the party banners, I believe. And we're gonna get this plain huge painting. So this one you're gonna have to switch to your small grid. And we're gonna go over maybe like maybe two, maybe one little. I don't know, we'll see. But we're just going to line these up together and we're gonna do three wide. So three paintings going across like that. I think we might actually have to go tw two times wide. Okay, we're gonna have to move this over. Let's do do this. I think it should be better like this. Let's take a look. All right, this side's good. This side's good. All right, so you're gonna do three paintings going um, this way. So just make sure they're lined up and you are good. We are Gucci. Keep on doing it. Just keep on doing it. Oh wait, did I did I mess that up? I don't think I did. Okay. So we have the the front of the whole box cover. This will be our cover, our cereal box cover. I made my own, so that's pretty good. Can't wait to show you guys what it looks like. And then for the side, now I think the nutrition facts are on the side of the box. We have some very small paintings. Like we don't really have those giant paintings. Oh wait, we can use this one, the basic large painting. Oh, this one's perfect. This one's pretty good. Okay, let's use this one. So we'll use that. Um, we have nutrition facts, and of course we do need the barcode. Every cereal box has a barcode. I think we'll just use this plain square painting for that. We should also add a expiration date, I think. That's the thing I forgot last time about my milk carton. It needs an expiration date. But this is Bloxbury. I mean, this is just a house. It doesn't really expire, but if you want that realistic feel to it, definitely add an expiration date. As you guys know, blue is my favorite color, so I think we're gonna go with a cyan, cyan, how do you, however you say that. Oh gosh. I love blue, but I can't even say cyan, cyan. All right, so we're gonna color the box that, and just color this. I mean, it doesn't really matter because our front cover has its own like background anyway. We don't really need to, yeah. Okay, so there's the box. It's all colored in blue now, a cyan, a cyan. So now we're gonna put a roof over this and we're just gonna make it, <gasps> ooh. I wanna make it look like, oh my, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so I kinda wanna make it look like it has that, um, the opening thing. 
whatever you call it. We're gonna make it look like you can open the box. I don't know if you can do that. So something like this. Something like that, you know, like those little flaps when you open up the box. I think this is pretty close. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wanna see if I can try to make it look better. Since we're already here, we might as well try, right? All right, beautiful, amazing. Now our box has like that opening thing. It doesn't look the best. Okay, so I actually do need a door for this. We need to get inside of this box somehow. So we're going to add a door. We're gonna use a plain door. It's probably one of the best. So let's just, I think we'll add it in the back here. And we will try to match the colors as best as we can. Cool, yay. I mean, if you look at it far away, you really can't see it too much, but. All right, so now it is a house. We are going to try our best to make it livable and looking nice. So this is one of the fun parts. You guys can do any, you can also do this any way you want. It doesn't have to be the exact same as mine. I'm hoping you don't do the exact same as mine because my decorations are pretty bad. So do whatever you can with your house. I have no idea how I'm gonna do the inside. I haven't prepared for the inside either. I've only prepared the outside part of the box for this build. What if I put a garage down here? <gasps> oh my gosh, that would be pretty interesting, right? Add a garage. Oh my gosh, wait! I want to do that! I want to do that, okay. There's our garage, okay, so we can park a car in here. So for my garage, I want to just do concrete. Because it's the garage, you don't really need- You don't need to do something too crazy for it. Very nice, very nice. Maybe I will put the door like this. Yeah, something like that. Neat, very neat. And we are going to add a ladder. We need to get ourselves up somehow, so we need stairs. We need some stairs, build some stairs. I think the best thing we'll have to do, actually, we could actually use stairs. I've been using ladders for most of my builds, so let's try to use some fancy stairs, guys. Ooh, this could be interesting. Maybe if I flipped it. Oh man. Oh, this is possible. It is possible. We can do that. Let me move my garage. Okay. Oh man, oh man, oh man. We might have a problem here. Because I want the stairs to actually, like, line up. Oh, we could use the, um, small garage door. Oh, we can use that one instead. We can use the tinier one, the smaller garage door. Okay, we'll do that. We'll use this. So let's copy the colors from here to here. Delete this giant door, and we'll put the smaller one here. There we go. Easy solution! Oh, yes, yes, yes! This is perfect! Oh my gosh, okay. So we'll just line that up there, and it's perfect! And we have stairs. Okay, I do want L stairs. And we'll just add our own railings to it. I think we'll do that. Um, so people don't fall from the side and sue us for falling. Steel cable. Ooh, this one's nice. I like this one. Okay, let's, let's do the steel railing. And we're gonna use a carpet that says, Welcome, welcome to your cereal box home, Pita. And we'll add a little seating area over here. I wanna add like a little like... So you can like sit down, put your shoes on. So I always like those little things. So we'll just add a seating area here. And maybe I want to extend this. Hmm. I don't know if that's a good idea. We'll do that. Let's maybe move this over on the edge. And yeah, that looks pretty decent. Okay. We can like add something. Wait, we could add something over here. I don't know. Oh, we can add like, oh, maybe we can add like a little closet right here because like when you're on your way out, you can just get your clothes right here. Oh my gosh. Yes, let's do that. We're adding a closet. <laughs> add ourselves storage. How about, maybe we'll use this like clothing rack. Hopefully nothing sticks out. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't protrude. Maybe I'll add some storage shelves too. Maybe I should just get rid of this. Hold on, let me get rid of this wall. Let me, let me build the storage first and then put the wall back. So then we could like put a shelf here, like you could put like umbrellas or something, just like some storage, you know, it's a storage closet. Beautiful, beautiful, nice, perfect. And then we can add some decorations to it too. Maybe put some towels in here, um, maybe some boxes. We can make this look like shoes or something. We're gonna wear boxy shoes. Oh, I don't know why you have just three boxes, but that's fine. Oh yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. And just for fun, we'll add like a hot saucer here. Wow, amazing. Okay, we can put up our wall back and we can add our door. 
very, very nice. And by the way, guys, just so you guys know, if you ever see me like building in, in Bloxburg or something, most of the time my chat isn't up. So if you think I'm ignoring you, I'm not. I just don't have the chat open and I'm kind of like just, you know, busy building something. But if I do like happen to see you outside just standing, I will say hi. But most of the time I'm just inside the build building stuff. So yeah, hopefully you're lucky enough for me to see you outside. So I believe our first floor is done. This is where we're going to park our garage and we do have a little storage closet here that's really nice so now moving on to the second floor let's go ahead and start on this okay so this will be my kitchen area so we're gonna add three by three kitchen here we're gonna add a spot here too and there we go now this looks a little weird maybe i don't want a railing maybe we don't need a railing going up but it also looks really weird without it does it doesn't it Ah, uh, maybe we'll just put one railing on one side. The old cable here and try to copy the colors here. Oh, there we go. That's better. Okay. So then this is our second floor and uh, this will be our kitchen area, I guess. Nice. Wow. Oh, that looks ugly. Hold on. What if I stretch this out? Ew, that's ugly. Hold on. Why is that? Maybe I need to put this over here. It looks less lopsided. It looks weird. Less weird. I think that looks better. <laughs> okay, let me change up these walls again. Uh, when in doubt, go back for concrete, right? <laughs> when in doubt, go for some concrete. I don't want to be the same using the same thing. Mm, not too bad. centered yeah that's pretty good okay nice okay first of all let's just do this we'll add the soap someone taught me this neat trick you just put the soap first and then you can move it into what the rest move it inside with the rest of the counters um good thing i learned something i'm gonna add a little sponge too i don't know who came up with the sponge idea i saw it first in um phoebe's video so we'll just put a sponge there maybe it was from i think it was from nezzy but I've been seeing this around lately. I don't know if that's a good texture. What's, what's a good, better one? Oh, this one. The pebble texture is good for a sponge look. Nice. That looks pretty aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> I love how these things just like stand out. I don't know why I did this. I don't know why it starts off that way. Come on, flip, flip, flip. Okay, now it looks like a bananas. Toaster, we need a blender. I make my milkshakes. These are my favorite. Ooh, no one uses this one too often. There's our kitchen, a very full functioning kitchen. Now I want to make this like a, okay, unfortunately, I don't think we have enough room to add like another actual L-shaped staircase. I mean, maybe it is possible, but uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do another staircase. Plus it saves us some more space, some more room. We'll probably put that there. All right, I want to make this like the living room too, like a living room and a kitchen together in the same floor. So we're gonna try to fit those together. It is a pretty small space here, but I'm sure we're able to do that. I think it is possible. Oh yeah, it is definitely possible. This is good. I'm gonna add a iWatch TV. Yes, put that there. And maybe, maybe I'll add a fireplace. Okay, maybe I'm, I'm pushing it. <laughs> maybe that's too much. Oh God. I do want to add a table though. <laughs> I do want to add the table. Maybe we'll put a wall here to cover this fridge. What, what, where did this come from? Hello? Hello, what? Where did you come from? That's so weird. But then again, maybe we don't need that little wall there. I think we'll just keep it open like that. Better placement. Oh yeah, we need a trash can. What kind of kitchen doesn't have a trash can? It is a must have, I believe. Let me just put that right next to the fridge. Uh, let's add a random plant there. Anything, if you need anything to help decorate your house, a plant is the best thing to add. Um, oh, that looks pretty cool. That looks interesting. <laughs> Maybe we can move the remote down. What, you can't place stuff down there anymore? Excuse me? I mean, yeah, that, that's pretty cool, right? But I want it to feel open. I don't want it to be like, oh, this is just this room only. I, I don't know. 
Okay, I think it's safe that we can start on the third floor now. Um, I'll probably add some more stuff down here soon. But I want to get started on my third floor. And this will be our bedroom area. Yes, finally. Oh, it's been taking a long, long time. Okay. And then this whole area up here, I think I'll make this entire blue blue. Because it is my personalized room. So we'll make this just blue. Maybe I gotta redo my floor here. Okay. Yeah. Note to self. Always do your rooms first. Do your, like, walls and, like, rooms first before you do the floors. Because then you'll have this issue like me where I have to delete a part of the floor so I can just fix a room. You can add some books here so like when you're on the toilet you have something to read. I know some people like to... Some people like to like read the newspaper or something. Like you know in those movies people like to read the newspapers while they're on the toilet. I don't know why but like they just do it. So I'm gonna add some books here so you have a nice selection of those. I need some more plant life in my house. I haven't had too many. Toilet, our bathroom is done. Oh we need a carpet. Oh yes, I almost forgot. Almost done with my house. Once I finish this bedroom, we are free. When in doubt, just add random books everywhere. Like, I, I honestly have, like, books everywhere around the house. You need plants. You need plants. Okay, not that one. That one's that one's gonna be, like, crazy if it falls on your face. If there's an earthquake, that plant's gonna fall on your face and you're gonna get hurt. Um, I have no idea what to put up here, so I'm just gonna put a bunch of random hot sauce. Oh, I don't even have a laundry room. I keep forgetting to have a laundry room. Jeez! Oh my god! See, I think of everything but a laundry room. Maybe I can do my laundry in my, like, my garage area. Household. Household. We have a household area for a reason. Okay. We'll just... Dryer. Washer. I think my car can still fit in here somehow. Yeah, that, that will fit. It's fine. It will work out. Okay, we have laundry here. That's great. Oh, I can put it on here. Wait, I can put it on here. <gasps> oh my god. Wow, I just framed my bed for murder. We are done. The last thing we need to do now is to put our beautiful cover on the wall here. Now we're going to go ahead and put... We're basically done with the um, house now. So we're going to go ahead and place the decals on the box. All right, so we have finally finished the Pita O cereal box house, and we are going to go ahead and sh I'm gonna show you guys the full tour of the place. So here we have it, limited edition Pita O's, fresh bready taste, and it's just a giant, <laughs> it's a giant photo. So here's that. It's really cool. I mean, it looks really nice if you zoom on, zoom out of it, and you can see the little um. The opening at the top there which is really cool uh, we do have nutrition facts and a barcode we don't have an expiration date but that's fine and then we're gonna go to the back here there is a garage i don't have a car in it though but let's just go inside and have a little tour so when you enter the place i didn't color oh, i just realized i didn't color the ceiling but that's fine so, um, once you go inside here is what you're welcomed with and inside here is a little closet with a bunch of storage and then this is just the seating area oh wait wrong way what about this one yeah, we're facing the wrong way. Oopsies! But this is where you sit if you need to put on your shoes, but obviously not that way. And then over here is just like a little garage with um, laundry stuff. I don't know. We're just going to do this. We're going to put like those two things there. I, they don't make sense at all. This is this is not laundry. You need detergent and you need fabric softener, but I'm just going to put these random. Uh, but yeah, just a little laundry area. Nothing crazy. And then you go up the stairs and we are welcomed with a very interesting uh, living room slash kitchen. Pretty nice. I use a lot of different stuff, honestly. I feel like I used a bit more different items, different bit of furniture than before. Okay, I really like the way this turned out. It is cool. And then last but not least, the third floor, which is my bathroom slash bedroom. So yeah, oh my, this is this is looking really interesting. Maybe I'll just, it's fine. Don't look at it. But I like the way this turned out. Oh my God, it's so nice. And this is the bathroom. Oh God, oh gosh. 
the problems of doing like very interesting like roofs but yeah it turned out really well i really like it and i hope you guys enjoyed this build all right and i will do the tour with everyone i'm gonna end the video if they want to be in it so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this build if you did make sure to leave a big old thumbs up and if you guys want to continue watching any other roblox videos on the channel <laughs> oh my gosh um then <laughs> Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It is completely free. You'll be notified of when I upload it. Thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next upcoming videos. So stay tuned. Stay awesome. Have a wonderful Friday. Happy Friday and happy first day of March. I don't know what to say after this. I lost my train of thought. Um, Peter Bread signing out. Goodbye, everybody.